What up, y'all? Blue Play here. Have a couple things I want to talk to you about. First of all, State of Decay did a live stream yesterday. I don't know if you guys got to see it. I was I was on the lucky side, and I was at work, and my boss was kind of chill, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch it. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was mainly just two employees having fun playing the game. They didn't show too much more information that we didn't already know, but they did sort of demonstrate it for all of you who didn't get to go to PAX and all that stuff. I didn't get a go, but it was nice to actually see like a live full hour worth of demonstration. So there was a few things that I don't I want if you haven't seen it, I'll have the link in the description so you can go see it. It was on Twitch. Uh, Microsoft was able to lend them their account. But anyway, I want to point out some things before you go see it. And I also want to talk about my giveaway that I'm doing uh, after that. Uh, but anyway, they did do a couple things that I thought was interesting. They did a lot of zombie killing. Uh, a lot actually which is the main point so I'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything I, it was, I thought it was cool um, they used cars I know a lot of us didn't get to see that's one thing is there was a lot more cars than I thought there was gonna be uh, there was a lot different types too I mean I even did a car video trailer whatever the hell you want to call it video info video and uh, there was a lot there I mean cop cars all this stuff and you blast the sirens and zombies come it's, it's really cool uh, they showed off a lot of the weapons uh, there's over 99 of them, and they didn't show all of them, but they actually, like, scroll through them. There was a ton of cool ones. Uh, they did a couple missions. One was a survey. You climb onto a radio tower, sort of like Far Cry 3, and you use your binoculars. That's the only difference. You use your binoculars, and there's little question marks that you have to go and actually hold over it for a little bit, and it'll cycle through, and it'll tell you what that is. And then after you get all those, uh... It'll show you where survivors are, and another cool thing is, if a building runs out of resources to where it can't keep building, uh, you can go out and it'll show you on the map where it is. It's not one of those, oh, you gotta go find this, it's like, oh, look for it here. You get it, and then you have to bring it back to the garden. It's not all of a sudden, oh, look, you did it, now I can keep building. It's not like that. Uh, you can continue building after you bring it back. Other survivors, they did uh, bring some survivors into their community. Um, once they did that, it wasn't one of those, oh, I'll go with you after you earn my trust. It's, okay, I'll go with you, then you earn my trust while I'm eating your food, pretty much. You have to do stuff for them while they're in there, make them feel happy, all that stuff. I thought, I thought that was different. I, I honestly thought you had to earn their trust, then they'd go with you. But it was pretty funny, because he only had a two-seater, two-seat car, that, and there were three people he was trying to save, so there was four of them in total. So they had to go get a car and hold off some zombies while they were packing. That was pretty cool. Uh, they did die, which I thought was awesome. I hadn't seen it before, I hadn't watched any of the PAX videos because I was so jealous. Um, but he died, and what happens was he was getting beaten up, and then he went down, and he got a chance to tap A really fast and go into Last Dance, or Last Stand. It's not Last Dance, but it's kind of like a Last Stand. If you survive, you get to live, and if you don't, you die. And, uh, when he went down, again, they ripped him apart, like, in half. Like, literally, I was like, oh, that is legit, I'm gonna die immediately, not because I suck, but because that looks awesome. But anyway, other than that, there wasn't too much. Uh, I mean, it was really cool. I love how well it was done. Uh, the day and night cycle. You can't, like, it's not one of those, oh, it's switching really quickly. It gradually fades into it. It was really cool. Uh, love the demonstration that they did. They're going to be doing another one next week, I believe, and I'm definitely going to be watching that one. It's on Twitch, so you get to ask questions while they're doing it. Uh, they only answered, like, two or three, and it was about a beard, one of them. It was, it was funny. These guys are hilarious. Sonya was there. Uh, other than that, that's about it. I'll go ahead and talk about the giveaway that I'm doing. I want to do it the 1st of May. Yeah, May, May. 1st of May, that's when I'll officially start it. That's when, if you comment, your name gets put into the giveaway. And, uh... I'm really looking forward to that. That'll at least give me some time to pick how I'm going to win because it doesn't come out for a month after that. That's who I'll pick who I'm going to win. Uh, the oil job doesn't look like it's going to be happening, so I'm going to be doing more YouTube videos. Look out for those ones. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, check the link for the description. Follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. They just hit 10,000 likes on Facebook. Good for you, Undead Labs. Twitter, you guys need to start liking them or following them on Twitter, man. Ain't nobody... Doing the, the, like, what? I think they're at 6,000? Which is nowhere near 10,000. So you guys need to step on that, all you Twitter fans. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I don't have a Facebook. Uh, that's my personal. That's me. Um, I have an Xbox Live account. You can follow, or 
friend me on if we can play. That's always fun, right? Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Dude, are you seeing this? Look at all, look at all this stuff you could be clicking. You got Twitter right there. You got a State of Decay giveaway. You've got Minecraft and Bioshock, and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other goodies in there. Or you could just subscribe.